All right, are you ready to go? I am. Okay, I'll count us down. Wait, actually, no, I'm not ready. I need to reset my Why? timer. <laughs> oh. oh, shoot. Okay, I'm ready. I'm that. ready. Oh, I'm ready. Okay, okay, okay. All right, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Yep, good luck. All right, that's very fast. Um... Also fast, kind of fast. Okay. Margaret with Perry's. Well, hello, row two. Bach, cracked pots. Yeah, that's maybe worth a market. I'm not sure. Really not sure. Any small shields? Spiked club isn't bad. Any small shields? No. Okay. Good somber weapon. Uh, that's not exactly a good somber weapon. Alright, well I don't hate the spike club. Spike club can definitely work. Um, okay, what do, what do we prioritize? Oh, actually, no, you don't take Cracked Pots here. Take the Rune, right? Because the consumable only kill matters more. 14 decks, yeah, that's going to be more than good enough for Bofa. Oops. Um, we probably just sacrifice the Cracked Pot square, I think. Then we go get the medium shield storm wall, go for Margit. Or maybe we complete caves and grottos. That might make more sense. Yeah. All right. Both are consumables only. Soldier of Godric, Margit with parries or Bach, depending on what she's done up to that point. I got three seconds left. And I'm starting. I'm going. Good luck. Yep, good luck. All right. I, I think she might have taken Cracked Pots, which I think is going to give me a lead on the consumable square. I'm trying to, Tim. Although I, uh, I'm going to be more busy next week. So I'm, I'm not sure how much time I will have, but yes, I, I, I would very much like a Geno game. This is the spiked club. And most most players are practicing as much as me. This this is a uh, this lineup for season two is taking it much more seriously, which I I, I really like. Th this game mode is strategically deep enough to warrant plenty of practice. And I think Domo knew that as well. Domo is obviously not super happy about... Um, I mean, I, 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 that's probably wrong phrasing. But he, he really wanted people to take it serious, and he's definitely getting his wish in, in this season. Also that you're not then why I am calling. Oops. Goodbye.
like there, there was obviously quite a few people during last season that didn't really want to be there and of those that did want to be there there was probably like a strange culture of like people weren't willing to practice and so like nobody was expected to practice but that, that's definitely different this go around Hyper armor, dude? Okay, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is happening here, dude? Oh boy. Merry fucking Christmas, man. That was almost ugly. That's the wrong grace. I mean, rushing this cave does feel a little bit weird. Like, it, it underdevelops me to go for Soldier of Godric. Um. But, I mean, it also puts quite a bit of row two pressure yet again. Granted, that pressure is going to be entirely resolved if she goes for Margit with four plus parries. I guess, uh, I mean, Bach and Caves have synergy. So maybe if she's going for Bach, it, and like, yeah, I mean, this, this might make sense. Making that synergistic play to go for that second cave probably, um, would lose me the square if she is going for Bach and Caves. Yeah, I, I I don't really hate this. This seems fine. Still don't have a uh, torrent, by the way. Bro, can I not get farmed by fucking Soldier of Godric, please? I, uh, I kind of like this move set, dude. This move set seems nice. What what are the poise numbers on it? Is it the exact same poise numbers as the regular club? I mean, it has bleed. That charged heavy seemed comparable, if maybe a little bit faster than the regular club's charged heavy. Almost a Rick incident, dude. Can you imagine? I, I should be checking weapons here. It's Jover, bro. It's fucking Jover. Did you guys see that? That was Health and Steeple. The uh, board might be covering it. But you, I can put turning wood to aid you. You need own to the foot. Oh. Then summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Use it. It will summon torrent. Treat him with. All right. Uh, medium shield stormwall. 
she's either doing Bach or Margit with parries. I kind of just have to guess which one. I mean, granted, Margit with parries is the more value square here. It's probably safe to assume that she's going for that. So maybe I just set up the parry shield. And then I go make a Bach play. Um, and then if she beats me to Bach, I'm going to be ahead of her on Margit parries. And then if I'm ahead of her on fucking Margit parries yet again, I force her into Valiant Gargs too. Oh, fuck, man. It would be like, it, it would literally be the exact same game as last time. Then we PM for another hour. <laughs> Listen, guy, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to. Come on. Come on. BM means bad manners or like just being toxic. Being a dickhead. Um, I think I go get the... When I go get Stormwall, I think I go get the Liurnia Grace to get, uh, Melina to take me to Round Table. And then, at that point, hopefully she is either finished Bach or finished Margit with four plus parries. And that will inform what I do next. She's probably going to do Bach right now then, I would guess. And she's probably going to be ahead of me. Or she's going to do Godric. I don't know. I don't, both of those are actually viable options. Um... Maybe I just set up... Here's an idea. Maybe maybe I go set up uh, Dectus. I mean, granted, the Box Needle and Godric while summoning Nefeli are both going to be the, the most competitive squares right here. Theoretically, it makes the most sense to pursue one of those. Theoretically. Let's go see what, uh, what Round Table has. Um, to determine if you had, it seems tall, but maybe I just play for games, setup but I can take gathering very well at my hand. And then like row three is a very, very, uh, all this kind of row. Granted, I don't really want to do BBK, but I could make her do BBK. More frost axe. Yeah, I don't really like it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, I actually didn't kill the storm all beetle, did I? All right. Um. Yeah, dude. I don't hate setting up here. I don't hate setting up. Let her get both Bach and Godric, or not. Maybe she doesn't. I mean, does that open? Is column two a threat? Not really. Column one a threat? Not really. Row one. Yeah, yeah, row one could be. 
So maybe like Royal Revenant when I get up there. Hope for a heal, perhaps? Any reason to go for death ritual spear, huh? Fuck it, I'll buy that because I can. Um, any sleep pots? No. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to check Corin and hope for a heal. That would be nice. That would make stopping row one kind of easy. Although granted, she doesn't really have a any sort of recourse. Like she's not gonna, I, I don't think she's gonna be going for row one anytime soon here, or at least not until she gets at least one of those two squares. We do the Kaled half of the Dactus Medallion first because that progresses us towards other shit that we care about. Yeah, Column 4 is also an alt display, 100%. Yeah, this, this seems like an alt this board, dude. But if she doesn't do Godric or... Bach, like somewhat soon we're probably gonna have to assume that she's doing the same thing as me and setting up is this nighttime it looks like nighttime but i want to be sure i don't want to get down there and realize i need a port back About to be morning. All right, there's a a clock on the map. Okay, so she did Godric. I believe that's actually good news for us. happened there <laughs> uh hello all right now nah, now's nah as good a time as any to learn the other cheese right <laughs> okay so if he jumps we stay if he does anything other than jump we quit out immediately Thank you. Oh, 
Pick up the damn rune. We're trying to loot some fucking graves here, dude. All right, so is she going to assume that I'm working on Bach and won't go for it? Or is she going to go for it since it's an early game competitive square? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So health and steeple is 19 strength, 22 ins. Strength's gonna be fine. We need the 22 in though. Now I could get the int tier. Absolutely, that's an option. We'll, we'll have to see how many runes we have spared because I, I want to get the health and steeple to plus four and be able to wield it, which is probably gonna mean int tier. But we're we're just gonna have to see what the what the runes look like. Yeah, it's at eight, dude. Yeah, so we, we get to 12 int, we get the int tier, we buy the stones. We're just setting up the character to have Altus access way in front of her, which at this point, she should probably be thinking that I'm doing some sort of setup. Since I haven't done anything in a while. She might start to get suspicious, but nonetheless, I have a I have a massive development lead for Altus. Well, plus 12 isn't anywhere close to as good as Elf and Steeple. But, yes, theoretically. I I mean, if, if I had Starfist or something, like, yeah, bro. But we don't. This is bingo. We do objectives. Get five in row. Win game. Give me the poo poo. I'm definitely happy with health and steeple. I, I, I don't feel like I need to be fishing for another weapon. I wouldn't call health and steeple as good as dragon scale blade or dragon halberd, perhaps even golden halberd, but good enough. I would, I would call it an A tier weapon. Those other three being S tier. That damage buff is good. Although it is it with health and steeple, it's magic damage instead of lightning damage. Which magic damage is a little worse. I think Stormhawk Axe. I I ha, I've never gotten Stormhawk Axe on any of these runs. 
I, I really have no idea how good it is. Okay, we get to 12 ints. Okay. Save the rest. I, I don't know how the randomization algorithm works. Um, I would assume. Like, so what I, I heard this from Dom and he said. The amount of times an item appears in vanilla is the amount of chances that it has to randomly show up in any given weapon location for that for that category. And since Stormhawk Axe drops natively in so many places, it should be really really overrepresented in axe drop locations it doesn't seem like that applies to merchants because like i said i've literally never seen it um but i i rarely check axe drop locations so i don't know it, 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 i would i would need to hear that directly from um from nord to know how his randomization algorithm works i do know uh a bug slash feature of the way that he did the randomization is that vanilla locations of items like poor frost axe being in that in that chest in Liernia, uh it's less likely it's not it's not equally likely as all the other axes so if you really wanted to get hoar frost axe the location that would be least likely to give it to you is where Frost Axe's uh, vanilla location because of some way that the that the randomization works. I don't I don't know exactly what causes it, but it it only happens if there's literally no other place for it to go. Otherwise, everything always gets moved from its vanilla location by default. I mean, I I don't know that that doesn't really make sense. I I, I don't think that's the way that it should work. I, but I don't understand the practicalities of coding a randomization algorithm. <laughs> that if the goal is to randomize the weapons, then every given axe drop location should have an equal chance of dropping every single axe. math.random aren't computers like I read this out off of a YouTube thumbnail so it, it, take it with a grain of salt but I've heard that computers aren't capable of doing true random for for whatever reason some full fucking statistics nerd shit that is true all right Okay, so she did Royal Revenant. All right, like I said, I was a little bit concerned about this row one. Okay, I, I, I need to stop row one, dude. When did she do that? 1721. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta focus, gotta focus, gotta figure shit out. That was like a minute ago. She did Royal Revenant like a minute ago, so she could be ahead on Falling Star Beast if that's what she's going for. Uh, th there's Spirit Ash plus four. And that's an Altus Square. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. We let her have Falling Star Beast unless Column 2 becomes a concern, but it doesn't.
Okay, sanity check. Awesome. Level some vig. Okay, that's good enough. And we want to be able to natively wield 20 vig. Then we shoot it up to 22 int. I kind of like I actually kind of like the look of the crackpot square. I didn't take crackpots off the rip though. But column 3 is is tempting for sure. Restoring Morgoth's great rune is a really long long square, but I will be ahead on it. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of shit to do in all this. Now, the question is, where do I develop the biggest threat? Row three looks spooky. Column two, not so much. Diagonal. Also kind of, kind of scary. The top right to bottom left diagonal, I mean. I mean, top left to bottom right diagonal is also... Oh, that actually is Falling Star Beast synergy. But like I said, I, I feel like she's probably ahead of me on that. That seems... I, I mean, she either went to do that or to do Box Needle or maybe Crackpots. And I don't really want to lose a race here. E even though I'm down on squares, I don't think I'm losing. I think I'm actually winning here. So I, I don't really want to engage in races, especially ones that I would be behind on. Alright. So we are, we are ahead here. Okay, so Falling Star Beast, so she's going for the Somberstone play, okay. That all makes sense. Um... Let's go do Windham. I like the look of Windham. Now that is going to tell her I have all this access. So I don't... I, I think row three is really the, the biggest threat that I'm looking at here. And I, I don't want to be telegraphing it quite yet. Because I, I know I'm ahead of her on, like, literally everything except, like, the memory of Grace 50,000 plus runes, so. We're going to tell her that we're in Altus, and then we're going to start developing that line, uh, and get that memory of Grace with 50k runes somewhat quickly, so that she can't stop it. And I'm going to try to force her into BBK, is the goal. Did I, uh, pick up wolves on this playthrough? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know where they're categorized into. Do I need to be worried about column five? I mean, not if I get memory of grace. A 
blocking row one is exactly what we're doing by doing wind ham. That's the that's the idea. The wolf summons. Okay, they're right there. So no. I've not picked up wolves. I'm supposed to be picking up the one through three on my way through here. Oh no, the the four on my way through here. I don't I don't know exactly where the four is. Is this the four? Is this the grave glove wart bell bearing in here or the ghost glove wart? I think it's gray, right? Tactically die here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can get the jellyfish off her anyway. True, 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 true. All right. Okay, that has a follow-up. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm trying to take advantage of these jumps. I've never, never really, uh, used jumps on this guy. This thing is obviously a rat. Okay, thank you. Is that gonna give me? Probably not enough. Oh, I, I actually have no idea. Is that enough? How much is, does this shit cost? I don't do summons. Come on. That no matter. Look, my hood's absurd. I might have death. Killing Falling Star Beast is nice to get a plus six somber, though. 
suppose I'll ask Master. Okay, so what? We're good to go. We're all, everyone's happy. Sick. Good. I have you to thank. I can have I'm as yet. But, and if there's well, I swear to Odorica. Please. Can they can't be, but just it'll be glad. Thank you. I even have a five. Fuck it, why not, right? Okay. Um. I don't hate getting middle square here. I mean, middle square is obviously positionally important. Makes her probably rush crack pots to avoid needing to get Morgoth's great rune. I, I, I'd like to... I'd like to get some runes. <laughs> I guess I could do like DTS cheese. That could be a good way to, to solve my rune problem. Grail cheese takes too long and doesn't do anything for us. Like, yes, obviously getting runes is not very complicated. It's about getting runes in a way that doesn't completely fuck you over for the 10 minutes that you're going rune farming. Do I take the risk on crack? I mean, I didn't start with crack pots and I'm, I'm pretty damn sure she did. Crackpots is not a... I mean, especially if you don't start with Crackpots, it, it's not a crazy fast square. I could also try Tree Sentinel Duo. I mean, that's... With, with this amount of Vig, it's maybe reasonable. How many runes do they give? They give a hero's rune for... What is that, 50k? First, we get the, the smithing stone bell bearing, um, but they give, they give a hero's rune for... Yeah, I, I need that memory of gray square though, dude. Memory of gray square is important. Maybe, maybe I do do tree sentinel first. How, how many do a uh, 53k total in, is that including the rune that they drop? No, I haven't killed any remembrances. I, I'm not trying to get into Lane Dell, dude. Twenty plus fifteen K equals thirty five K. Maybe I do do tree sentinel first. Then I'll have a lead on Smithing Stone Bell Bearing. Obviously I have a lead on Magnus. Horse BBK. Yeah, I mean the biggest concern on that row is memory of grace, so yeah, I mean we we probably play for it. That makes sense to me. Okay, I focus on the shield one first. Nice. Ow. 
And that's why we focus on the shield one first. <laughs> the torch one doesn't do that shit. Can I explain why I don't go to capital? There are three goals there. Yeah, that'd be a waste of fucking time, dude. Three goals taking an hour to get there is not worth. Can't fucking see anything. Oh, that has another follow-up? Okay. Thought it was only three. Okay, I want that guy to walk forward. Good. Lucky, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Full health. Oh, boy. Stop doing weird shit, bro. So we mark it. Is that enough? Oh fuck no, it's not enough. My intentions are now obvious, but it's probably too late for her anyway. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to kill BBK. I mean, I, I know that I would not be very good at BBK. And I don't think she would like to do BBK either. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to put the threat there and let her figure it out. That's because, like, getting a bingo and threatening a bingo are almost equally as valuable. I said it. <laughs> Obviously, getting a bingo is better. But if you can make your opponent do BBK, you win. Like, you just win. <laughs> so it, it doesn't actually matter if you can complete the bingos. Your opponent just needs to think that you can complete the bingos. <laughs> oh, 
Only if your opponent isn't Gino Machino. I mean, Gino, even Gino takes a long time on BBK. But yes, obviously, it, he has mechanical skill, of course. But nonetheless, I mean, he's going to spend 10 minutes on that fight. And because Gino is Gino, you can pretty confidently say, okay, I, I know he's not just going to hope that I'm not doing it, and he's probably going to do it because he understands that if he doesn't do it, he's kind of just throwing. So cool, dude. What a cool weapon. Hey, dude. <laughs> Yet, I'm, I'm making Domo's life hard. <laughs> making people quit out of the league during practice matches. Because <laughs> I keep making them do fucking stupid bosses. <laughs> No, he, he ultimately decided that he didn't need to make that the exception for the rule that I was I was talking about there. Which like fair enough. It It doesn't matter. It's it's fine. Banned due to bad sportsmanship. It's not guys, listen. It's not bad sportsmanship. I just suck at these hard bosses like everyone else does. <laughs> Uh, does that expire? Oh, I need fucking bloody fingers, dude. I for gore. God damn. Okay. Uh, Vare is still chilling at the at the start, right? I, I need to get a fire here. Or can you can you buy them from somewhere? Can you buy them from round table or something? Where can you buy them from? No, I I haven't killed a I haven't killed a remembrance. All right, it's not at round table. I I'm just gonna go go kill Vare then. He d he shouldn't move until you kill a remembrance. Fate, thank you for the raid. Whoops. Give me your shit, fucking nerd. <laughs> Not Moog on this board, right? All right, cool. That that would be a questionable choice if Moog was on this board. Now he moves after you kill a great rune, which most of the time is Godric, but not always.
Fuck. That's not what I wanted. Ow. I thought I was going to space that. I... Huh? I thought I jumped. You can't jump that? Okay, well, that would explain it. Almost got me, bitch. I am not fucking killing BBK. Y'all can suck my nuts. Bitch. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Huh? Yeah, this is a fucking PvP experience right here, dude. Heckin' love PvP. All right, rune acquisition. All right, dude. Uh, now we just start playing for majority, right? Devour Scepter. Hey, that's a Smithing Stone 6. Or Somber 6. Fucking dogs! Leave me alone. I, I don't I don't know where I'm fucking going, dude. Who? Oh! Who? Oh! oh my god. Leave me alone. For fuck's sake. Holy shit. Alright, I guess I'm doing box needle, dude. Is there a is there a somber five other than the one in Caleb that's like convenient to get? I am not doing BBK. You can suck my fucking scrote, bro. No BBK for me, bro. Oi, you you there? Could you help us out, Cully? Some kind. You were just thank you. I was pushed and I ended up. Oh, when they and so this is all I hope. Or I couldn't then. Southwest from the Bower of Bounty side of Grace and Ultis. Alright. That doesn't sound awful. Well, listen, chat. Listen, listen, listen. I've been telling you guys, when you evaluate boards, the right question to be asking is not, what is easiest? <laughs> See, th this is the mistake that Twitch chat makes all the time. They just look at the tasks that are easiest to complete. That, that doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter at all. The question that you need to be asking is, what do I think my opponent is doing? 
and how do I prevent that from causing me problems? Nice. Nice. Getting shit on by the fucking demi humans, dude. Stop fucking poisoning me. Goddamn nerd, dude. Do I think she'll do BBK? Honestly, I don't know. If she doesn't, though, I mean, I eventually, like, if her thought process is, all right, just play for majority, like, fair enough, because that's what I'm doing. Um, but eventually, I'm going to be high, high enough level to do BBK, you know? And so it. If she wants to win, she eventually has to do it. No matter what. All right. Uh, somber five and worm face. That makes sense to me. Pots finally. Uh, I didn't start with crack pots. I don't think I want to. <laughs> I don't think I want to, dude. Yeah, th this looks like another, uh, oops, I already had this. This looks like another development game where I developed faster. I recognize that developing faster would win on this board. Uh, and she did not. Maybe I sniped her consumables only. Um. Is this the... No. Uh, Aggie doesn't, uh... It, he seems to be really into his randomizer no hit runs. He doesn't seem super interested in doing bingo practice. Which, fair enough, he's been doing it longer than all of us. Not nearly as new and interesting to him. So what was it? it was southwest southwest of Bower of Bounty? Okay, it's right there. Uh, uh what the fuck do you mean? The hell is that shit, bro? <laughs> Alright, we go get plus six. This is probably going to make like Physic Flask tiers look like an option. I got five already. Where the hell am I? Here we go this way. fuck out of his splooge zone. Oh, 
I'm not two-handing. Need to be two-handing. Okay. Okay. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. All right, you killed me. Hello, fucking hitbox, dude. Okay, man. All right, time to have a fucking worm face incident, bro. <laughs> time to have a fucking worm face incident. Okay, I'm I'm killing these fucking tree guardians they ain't, they ain't causing me problems okay 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 calm the fuck down there brother stop what are we doing Ah, we're doing this. I like it. All right, sick. Okay. Um... Guess this guy's easy to get physic tears from. Should have seven. Yep, seven. And I'm assuming at this point she's just trying to develop all this access and just doesn't have it. She's out of bingos, right? Yeah. Or perhaps she's fighting Black Blade Kindred and understandably not winning. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? What the hell am I? I'm, I'm going down here. I forgot what I was doing. Well, she, no matter what, it, if she rushes for majority, she still needs to kill BBK. If I still have a bingo on the board, she can't win by majority. Which means one of her 13 squares needs to be BBK. This was stupid. I deserve to die. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why I did that wasn't fucking I, I knew that's how it worked, but I did it anyway. Greedy. No, listen. No, don't put greedy in quotes. Homie. Put it. That's actually greed.
Okay, I mean, there's like decks here that I could go pick up. Is the 10th? Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't hate it. She did it! Unfortunately, I was playing for majority so that she she did exactly what I wanted her to do. But she did it! That's not talk. Chat, you guys don't know what toxic is. You guys got no clue what toxic is. All right, so I should have a lead on like somber stones, even though she has the first one already. And I could also go run over and try to do cracked pots. I, I have a feeling that's what she goes for. I, I, I don't fucking know. Dude. I think I go for somber stones. Two bell bearings and four scarks. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize that, dude. Fuck me, maybe I am toxic. Oh, holy, dude. I, I promise I'm not trying to be. I'm I'm just trying to play optimally, man. Listen, listen. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. If you feel bad, then it's not toxic. True, 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 true. In fact, she should feel bad about making me feel bad. Ow. Come on. Alright, homie, I need you to fuck off. Okay, dude. get it eventually I promise whoopsie wasn't sprinting or something I don't I don't fucking know come on stop okay everyone fuck right off stop 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 Jesus
Oh boy. Wait for the runes. All right, sick. Oh, I never sat down. Okay, we go back. Dude, all right. I accept it. I'm toxic. We're, we're making her do BBK and Valiant Gargs, dude. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm just trying to help Bree out. I, listen guys She doesn't like doing these bosses so I, I just make her do them And get cracked bots to force more gods <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ you guys are fucking psychopaths <laughs> Holy shit. Exile, thanks for the prime. When did I drink my physic? I don't remember. I hope I have enough. Thank you for standing there. Sick. Listen, the, listen, listen, listen. The crazy part is Cracked Pots is actually the optimal play. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm not doing it to be toxic. I'm not. <laughs> it's, it's the optimal play. Listen, guys, listen, listen. It, we force another bingo. It's the easier square. It's just the right play, bro. I think I saw Gino do something kind of wacky. Like. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Call me Gino Machino. Alright, one. Two. Three. Uh, did I already buy one? I think I bought one. Okay, I, I actually have four. Seven from... We get three from Kale. 
We get two behind Margit. We get one from Bofa Cave, and then we're good. I don't know if that's the most optimal way to do it, but that's what I'm doing, okay? We didn't do Crackpot starting gift because that's how I won the consumables only boss kill. You need the runes to do that. You don't know what Bofa Cave is? his ass <laughs> that doesn't stands break him I thought for sure huh does that move have hyper armor Fucking shit, I don't know, dude. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> You're beating <laughs> That's alien level toxicity. <laughs> oh, poor fucking guy. Dude. Oh, poor fucking guy. <laughs> oh, wee. Transition as stagger immunity. Really? Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess so, right? I, I must have done enough poise damage and I didn't get one there. <laughs> Might as well invade her. Oh, uh, yeah, I did. Bingo is seamless co op when. I, I feel like that's kind of an interesting idea, but seamless co-op with the way that it exists would absolutely not work for it. But like theoretically in a fantasy land where you can get netcode that actually works, it might be cool. All right, dude. Should have picked this uh, this pot up earlier. Did I have that fire lit? I actually don't even know. All right, is that ten? Let me check. That is ten. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bree. <laughs> Forcing gargs and Morgot, dude. All right, what the hell do I do? The, the, the bad part is all of these fucking... Oh my god. All, all of these remaining squares are a colossal pain in the ass to do. I guess tree spirits, right? 
Like legitimately, the rest of these squares are so fucking annoying to do. All right, where do, where do I even kill the other tree spirits? This is one. Where, where's another good option? Yeah, I mean, Gelmir exists. It's not exactly close. There's, there's the one in the starting hero's grave. Well, hello, what the fuck? Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay, dude. What the hell do you do with this guy? I believe. All right, that was, that was pure fucking cope. Okay, dude. All right, that's one. Catacombs near Radon. I don't want to do the catacombs near Radon, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, the alt this one. Yeah, 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 that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. One by the troll crush. Do I have stone sword keys? Look at that. Ah. Uh, don't ask any fucking questions, okay? Asking questions, unacceptable behavior. This is optimal. Stalling to be more toxic. That's what's happening. Does this chariot catch up with me at any point here? Fucking turn around, bro. Let me turn around. Doesn't look like it. Homie, I haven't killed any remembrances. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Morgoth's great rune could be done. That a stagger? Nice. I, I literally haven't killed any great runes at this point. Ow. Maybe I should level up, huh? Seems like a good idea. Is it 20? I don't know. Maybe it was 22. Son of a bitch, it was 22. Eh, it doesn't matter. Oh, 
was hoping. fuck are you doing Jesus fucking Christ can you chill thank you GG GG that, that was a heartbreaking match, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, uh, it, it was a bit rude from my side. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, just in terms of like the bingos you pinched and stuff. Yeah. BBK, Valiant Gargoyles, Morgot. I was uh, five to ten seconds off from getting the smithing stone bell bearing uh, before you got it. So yeah. that would have been that would have eliminated all the issues. So uh, just, you know, unfortunately, things like that happen. And that center square, as we've been told many times, gives um, immense command of the board. Right. So, yeah. Uh, that I think if I would have gotten that square, it would have been a very, very different, um, at least like mid game ish. I don't know how the end game would have ended up, but I think it, it, it would have been, um, you know, cause as soon as I see that, I'm like, oh shoot, I'm going to have to be blocking. So I'm thinking about BBK and like, how am I gonna deal with that? It was awful by the way, if you, if you wanted to know. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't even go for it. I knew I didn't want to know. Yeah, I, I think I died like four times. Uh, one was like, I think he was probably five hits away from dead on the, <laughs> the one death. So I had a few choice words for that boss. But um, <laughs> hey, we made it through. So yeah, it was a very, uh, very clean game. I mean, it, you were pinching the right things, right? Like you're playing the way that is it's perfect. You're pinching these really hard squares um, and giving yourself am ample opportunity to uh do other stuff right so yeah I mean, the, the, issue with, the issue BBK. with that is eventually if people start playing me like that i eventually am actually gonna have to do the hard squares to punish people for playing majority when i'm threatening a four square bingo <laughs> yeah we'll uh we'll see how it ends up i um i haven't played who are the two people that i haven't played so far uh nuclear pasta tom Mm -hmm. or catalyst but um i'm assuming they're gonna be probably some like harder competitors in terms of challenging some of that early stuff so who uh who knows i, I, I feel like are... speed running doesn't necessarily make them like speed running tends to have a lot of boss grips and things like that i i don't think it translates super well to like really high mechanical skill Sure, I could in, in in some situations. That's that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how. Uh, I'm really excited to see how the league goes. I think you are a very strong competitor, um, and obviously today I think was a good showing of that. So yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the games. Mm -hmm. No I problem. I am sorry that two I'm... of them were blowouts. You freaking broke my heart when you took <laughs> that square to this last match. I seriously was like, holy shit. Like, what do we... And then, oh, the, the funniest part was after I did BBK, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go get the somber bell bearing because at least I can, like, <laughs> yes. go snag that up. And as I entered the tunnel, you got it. I'm like, oh, my God, I just can't win <laughs> today. Um, but that's okay. That's that's how it goes when you have to focus efforts on on a boss like bbk so yeah i, I mean break. most of this match was determined by early alt this access i i don't know if you realize this from your side but i immediately after i got the first two squares i went to go set yeah. up dectus and altus i assume that's what you did yeah that was my i i was i was confused i'll be honest i was confused why you did um tree sentinel duel 
before getting the smithing stone bell bearing because I'm like that that square is so powerful and I know that you're there so I was really surprised that you chose to do that first but I'm assuming it's because you knew that it was worth the 50k as well um, um yeah I, I needed the runes and I knew that your easiest block was the memory of grace uh mm, and I also sure. just assumed I was very far ahead in Altus. um mm. but apparently I wasn't that far ahead because you were real close on getting the I already stones. had the spell bearing two when you killed the tree sentinel duel. As I grabbed it, you killed them, and I was running to the the tunnel in. Oh Lirio. wow! Yeah, you you we were, were in all this way faster than I would have thought. Yeah, I think once I did Revenant, it was that was my focus was to get the Altus for the bell bearings. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was it was very close, but it was a good game. Thank you for playing. Yeah, thank you.